morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's March the 9th, 2022. And it's a joy to be able to share some truths with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning we're going to read Proverbs chapter 21, verse 14 and 15. The Bible says here in Proverbs 21, 14, a gift in secret pacifieth anger, and a reward in the bo- uh, and a reward in the bosom strong wrath. Verse fifteen says, "It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity." And these two verses speak of really about a person taking bribes. And verse fourteen says, "A gift in secret pacifieth anger." And a reward in the bosom, strong wrath. And you can buy people off and you can pander to folks and gain their favor. But God's more concerned about truth. And that's what verse 15 is about, which says, It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. It's joy to the just to do judgment. In other words, to be just, to be right and righteous, and to be appropriate in their dealings with other people. That becomes joy for them. You know, there's a whole lot to be said for conscience and what the what the heart does to a person in convicting an individual when they do wrong. And some of it is is the work of the Spirit of God. And in saved people, that certainly is the case. You can't disobey God without being convicted about it. And and the Spirit of God, you cannot still if he's working in your life as a saved person, you know this, there is conviction. And no matter how hard we may try to put that voice to silence, we won't be able to. Because the Holy Spirit works in the child of God. And the Bible says in First John chapter 3, that person uh, is born of God. And so they cannot habitually practice sin. They cannot commit sin because they're born of God. And his seed remaineth in him. In other words, the Holy Spirit is still there, even though the person may stray and try to get away with doing something they ought not to do. Because God is a God who loves truth, and God is a God who loves righteousness, and he is determined that his children will follow that way as well. And that's the reason for conversion. That's the reason for sanctification and God working toward our sanctification, our Christ-likeness. Romans 8.29 says that those who are saved are predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. And that's how God accomplishes his purpose in salvation. The flip side of that is the person who takes gifts in secret and who gives a reward uh, to try to appease somebody of strong wrath. And destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Verse 15 says, God is a God who will judge sin. And we can count on that. We can depend on him to be a righteous God and a righteous judge who will always judge the wicked. And that is who God is. It's not a matter of it's just something that he does, but that's who he is. He's just like God is love. God is a righteous God who will always uh, judge sin. It's far better to be on the right side of God's character and to be blessed by him instead of being cursed by him. And may the Spirit of God work in people's hearts to draw them to a place of salvation so they can have God deal with them as a father instead of as a judge. What a great blessing that is to know for every child of God who is truly born again by the Spirit of God to know that God will never be their judge. He will be their father. He'll correct them when they need correcting. He's got a purpose to accomplish in the lives of his children. And they will be conformed to the image of his son. And that's why it's always appropriate to thank God and to rejoice in the Lord, no matter how deep our trials may seem, because there's a great purpose in them. And the Spirit of God is working to make us like Christ. And you'll be better if you're saved. You'll be better as a result of your difficulties. Just turn your eyes to the Lord and learn to praise him and thank him. He's a God of justice. He's a God of righteousness. He's a God of truth. And he's a God who intends good for his children. Don't be one of those who lives in dishonesty. Instead, honor the Lord with good uh, 
proper and accurate judgment and justice, and he'll bless you for that. God bless you today.